This is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 2 end of course practice test, question number 51. The question says the principal of an elementary school that has a total of 650 students wants to determine which serial is preferred among the students. Which method of data collection will give the most accurate results? Now what they're doing in this question is called sampling. It's when you take a small group of people that should represent a larger group. So we need to make sure in order to get the most accurate results that we have a diverse population in our sample set. Um, you may see, like in USA Today, for instance, they have polls all the time with pictures, and it says, uh, on this issue, blah, blah, blah percent of Democrats and blah, blah, blah percent of Republicans. Well, obviously, they can't go to every registered Democrat or Republican and ask their opinion. They ask a small sample group of those people, and then they choose. Now, in this case, we're trying to get a total view of what the school thinks, so we need to make sure that we're not restricting or we're being as least restrictive as we can possibly be. That's important. So we're going to look for restricting words, and we're also going to look for words that are more open, like all is a good word to look for if you're trying to get a nice sample set. Letter A says, assign a number to each student in the library and ask which serial is preferred. Now, in the library may or may not tell us something. I always highlight this too much. Uh, in the library may or may not tell us something about the group, but we're restricting to that group. Now, why are they there? Why are they there? It depends. A lot of times in elementary school, classrooms go to the library, so this may just be a second grade class, not really indicative of the entire school. It may also be before school, so you have people who either need to catch up on work or people who are really motivated to do well. They may have different tastes. It's not the best sample set. B says, assign a number to each student and ask every third grader with a number that is a multiple of five, which serial is preferred. So in this case, we're only asking third graders. Um, I don't really know that that's the best method because you have kindergarten, maybe even preschool, all the way up to sixth grade in elementary school. Tastes change. Little kids tend to like super sugary things, and when people get older, they may, you know, change their minds. So I don't know if third, grade is, third graders are the best representative group, even if they're in the middle. Uh, C says assign a number to each classroom and ask all students in one selected classroom per grade level which serial is preferred. Now this looks like it's being overly restrictive, but it's not being nearly as restrictive as some of the others. It says that we're, uh, every kid gets assigned a number, so each classroom gets a number, and ask all students, so we're going to ask all, that's a good thing, in one selected classroom, which seems like we're being restrictive, so I'm going to kind of purple that up a little bit one selected classroom. See, we're sort of limiting ourselves. However, it says per grade level, which serial is preferred. So basically, if there's three third grades, each one gets a number, and we pick one, maybe at random, and each one of those, and every kid in that class gets asked. It's a pretty good method. We're going over multiple grade levels, we're picking them, we're assigning classrooms numbers, and we're sort of picking them at random, and uh, this one seems pretty good. The last one says assign a number to each classroom and ask the girls in five selected classrooms which serial is preferred. You're limiting your group to one gender here, so it's probably not the best plan. Uh, it seems more limiting, and there doesn't seem to be as much openness. It does have uh, selected class, five selected classrooms. Well, it depends on the school whether that's restricting or not. If uh, five selected classrooms are, there's only three or four classrooms per grade, it's not really as many as you would think it would be. But if there's a lot more, then it might be. So who knows? But the one that gives us the most yellow or the most positive idea that this is a good sample set is C. So the answer to number 51 is C because it's the least restricting sampling group that we can get.